either one taking a picture or something. Please tell me you ain't. Mm-hmm. Well, look, man, here's the deal. When I come home, man, I want to put together a documentary, man, strictly based upon, you know, the life of realism, true life, not nothing that's fake, not nothing that's false, not, not nothing that's unclassified. Everything is verified. You know what I'm saying? Verified by history, not verified by um, somebody's opinion, somebody's thought. Verified, verified by a firm knowledge that has been proven. That's called experience. See, most people don't understand experience. In these streets, you gotta have experience in order to fucking survive. And you can gain experience by just making bad decisions. You know, in these streets, you can you can get out here and be disrespected. But you have to maintain a level of respect in order to in order to survive in these streets. Because if you're not respected, you're gonna die. You're gonna get swallowed up. The streets are gonna consume you whole. But when you got respect, the streets salute you. So you gotta earn that respect. And when you disrespect it, you gotta make sure that you stand up for yourself and let them know that even if they knock you down, you gonna get your ass back up, dust your fucking self off, and guess what? You gonna continue to produce. You gonna continue to earn. You gonna continue to grow. Man, I'm so thankful that God put this stuff in my in, in me. I'm so thankful to be possessed, put, to be possessed with the spirit of God. You know, I like that. I like that. You know, they talk about the exorcist. The exorcist. Oh, she's possessed with the, with the spirit of the devil. Get the fuck out of here. It's only one spirit, and that's the spirit of God. One. One. How can they be, like, a lot of different spirits, and that's a lot of different things created what we are. Only one created me, and that ain't my mama and my daddy. The same one that created me created them. The documentary is full is going to be full of knowledge and truth like these. I mean, try to shoot some air holes into this. Nobody can. The Christian's theory of truth is God is Jesus. I don't know where they went wrong. Damn, the Hindus didn't even miss that. The Hindus didn't even miss that. They didn't call Krishna God. They just used the term that we relate to God. It's so deep, man. This shit is killing me. See, you would have to come up here. This is an example. This is an example right here of God. That right there. Those Muslim men that own that place, I remember when they bought it. When they first started. They didn't have a gas, gas pump there. They didn't have a drive through there. That was a motherfucking a, a, a building. They progressed. They Muslims. Islam. Sons of Allah. Under their country is a commodity that our world thinks that we can't survive without now. Back when they was fighting over that land, they didn't even know what they was fighting over. They was fighting over that land and they didn't even know that oil was under it. God knew and God blessed them all with it. America trying to take it from them now. God ain't gonna let that happen. Them people believe in God too. We don't, according to our 
uh, what is it, Constitution? We don't believe in God. In God be trust, though. At least they country is fucking smart. They countries are smart enough to say that we worship Allah. And their laws are based upon that. Our laws are based upon I don't know what the fuck. Now, you could title this real talk. Huh? You could title this real talk. Because every time you talk about God, my nigga, that's real talk. Call me Neo, baby. <laughs> 